In the world where it seems like everyone is buying a huge SUV or a crossover, there are still drivers who would prefer a compact car that can take you from point A to point B, would still have some room in the back for groceries and will consume only a fraction of gas on the way. In this episode, we'll review some of the most affordable car models on today's market that can serve as perfect city commuters, would be ideal for beginner drivers and won't be a pain to find a parking spot for due to their small sizes. You're watching Automotive Territory Daily News. Subscribe to our channel and let's start the engines. Nissan Micra The Super Mini from Nissan received its last big update in 2017, entering its fifth generation with a fresh and more distinctive look, a higher quality cabin and several tech additions. The model now features a new trace control system and standard intelligent emergency braking with pedestrian recognition. In Europe, the 2019 Micra comes with three engine options, all mated to a 5-speed manual and a front-wheel drive. There are two gasoline engines, a 1.0-liter and a 0.9-liter three-cylinders, producing 71 and 90 horsepower, and one 1.5-liter four-cylinder diesel that makes 90 horsepower and 162 pound-feet of torque. To appeal to different customers, the car comes featuring numerous customization opportunities, including nine exterior colors, seven cabin trims, countless accessories and body modifications. Just wanted to let you know that there might be some more interesting videos on our channel that you might enjoy. Consider following the links in the description and formation cards to check them out. Let's continue! Volkswagen UP The cheapest way you can get a car with a VW badge on it is to go for the subcompact hatchback UP which comes in 3- and 4-door variants and starts from €10,000 or $11,500. Though the base 1.0-liter engine has just 60 horsepower, it still feels rather nimble on the road, and the available 75, 90 and 115 horsepower mills will let you actually overtake many drivers on the highway. The interior feels adequate without the use of junk-quality materials, and the boot space is competitively sized. The VW UP does not get equipped with a standard infotainment system, Instead, this function could be performed by your smartphone with a pre-installed application connected via Bluetooth. As it was mentioned, the app also comes with a 115-horsepower turbocharged 1.0-liter TSI engine installed on the sporty GTI modification, which brings performance suspension and charged looks into the mix. Kia Picanto The Picanto is one of those small five-door hatchbacks that are trying hard to give you the most for the money. Kia offers two engine variants, a 66-horsepower 1.0-liter MPI and an 83-horsepower 1.25 MPI, coupled with either a 4-speed automatic or a 5-speed manual gearbox. The car looks tiny but at the same time far from ridiculous, since the recently refreshed exterior is rather fresh and sporty. The same picture is painted by the interior design. The cabin has enough space and luggage capacity and can even seat three people in the back, though not too comfortably. It is recommended to obtain the Kia Picanto with higher trimming to get access to such features as the rear-view camera and a modern 7-inch touchscreen infotainment. Fiat Panda This Italian city car is nearing its 40th anniversary, with the first generation being released back in 1980. Today it is sold in four variants, the original and city cross, both of which are also offered in 4x4 modifications. While the standard model remains an iconic commuter, the 4x4 drive variants deserve more attention, since they combine the capacities of a city car and a rather capable off-roader. Among the available powertrains are a 0.9-liter twin-air gasoline paired to a 6-speed manual and outputting 85 horses and 107 pound-feet of torque, or a 1.3-liter multi-jet diesel with a 5-speed manual that deliver 95 horsepower and 147 pound-feet. To ensure improved all-terrain qualities, 
bigger bumpers, protective skid plates and 15-inch off-road alloy wheels with all-season tires were added to the package. Skoda City Go After receiving a refresh in 2017, the City Go is still a close sibling to VW Up and Sad Me, but it now has a more distinguishable exterior with the modified front grille bumpers and hood. The three-door is offered in five prim levels, all featuring two 1.0-liter gasoline engine options. The three cylinders make 60 and 70 horsepower and can be paired with a standard 5-speed manual or an optional 5-speed automatic. Inside the City Go's cabin becomes smarter, featuring a 5-inch infotainment with USB, Bluetooth and Skoda's Move and Fun app for your phone. Though there have been talks about the Skoda City Go's future discontinuation, Skoda appears to stay behind its smallest offering, and a new all-electric City Go will hit the market in the late 2019. Chevrolet Spark This is the smallest model from Chevrolet that measures only 143 inches long and 63 inches wide. In 2019 the model gets a facelift and it looks more fresh and dynamic with its new grille and headlamp styling. The Spark comes with one engine option, a 1.4-liter EcoTec 4-cylinder that is paired with a standard 5-speed manual transmission or an optional CVT. By the city car standards, this engine has a pretty decent output. 98 horses and 94 pound-feet of torque. The model's interior features comfortable front seats, rear-view camera, 7-inch infotainment with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and two USBs as standard. Toyota iGo The iGo is one of the most recently refreshed automobiles in its class, getting a facelift for the 2019 model year. This compact city hatchback is offered in 3- and 5-door modifications. It can accommodate up to 4 people and even in the more convenient 5-door variant won't exceed 11.5 feet in length. The model is offered in 5 trim levels and the latest updates include a reworked front fascia, LED head and tail lights and a slightly stronger engine. From now on, the iGo is powered by a Euro 6.2 compliant 1.0 liter 3 cylinder that outputs 71 horses and is coupled with either a 5 speed manual or an X shift transmission. It is worth overlooking the base C plate trim, since anyone above it gets a standard rear view camera and 7 inch multimedia system, optional navigation, voice control, plus Android Auto and Apple CarPlay support. Fiat 500 When it comes to the Fiat 500, the most convincing argument in favor of this small city car is undoubtedly the iconic look, which comes all the way from the 1957 Bambino. The market where you're shopping will determine in what trims the 500 is offered, but usually they are pop, a lounge and a barth, all available in convertible and hatchback body styles. The standard engine across all trims is a 1.4-liter multi-air turbo. It delivers 135 horsepower and 150 pound-feet of torque. The Abarth version of the car has boosted output that reaches 160 horses and 170 pound-feet respectively. Moreover, this classy city commuter is also available in the all electric vehicle version, but its limited range of 100 miles and over $30,000 price tag really scare away even the most devoted Fiat 500 fans.
What do you think about the compact city cars? Is their era coming to an end? Are they only suitable for small European towns and highly populated Asian cities? Or would you say that all the people should embrace the culture of compact daily commuters? Share your thoughts in the comments and watch more episodes suggested on the screen. Subscribe to our channel and come back soon!